welcome back friends so this is the video for the backlog students for the 2022 scheme this is for mathematics one for triple e students okay so it's uh, subject code is bmat 101 this is for the first semester uh, what we call as students and uh, this is the mathematics first uh, so let me tell you in this video my dear friends what is the passing strategy what is the passing trick so that you can easily concur you can easily pass this subject as you already know it becomes the headache for the students to cover this backlog as you already know you may already aware of the uh, vtu examination setup over there they just put uh, the uh, tough papers for the backlog students so my dear friends it becomes very 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 uh, what we call as disgusting for the uh, what we call as backlog students were there okay so in this video we will try to uh, what we call is understand what is the passing strategy what is the passing hack for this particular subject okay so in the module first friends so whatever i will tell you how much portion you should cover over there so that it will not become burden for you later on so in the model first introduction to polar coordinates uh, is the chapter name there are two chapters you have to focus on only one chapter otherwise you cannot cover all portions okay it is very tough to cover all portions uh, what we call it, especially for the backlog students over there so uh, first of all with usual notation prove that tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr this is the definite question over there also one uh, another one derivation is there but uh, this one is the most important one you just focus on this part okay next one is find the angle between curves suppose example i have taken it over here r is equal to a log of theta r is equal to theta upon log of theta okay so just try uh, three to four problems from such type of a portion so that you can cover the angle between curves over there and next third topic that is show that the radius of curvature at any point uh, theta on the cycloid so i have taken here the equation x is equal to a into theta plus sine theta comma y is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta is 4 a uh, 4 times a cos of theta by 2 so you have to show the radius of curvature at any point okay so this is the equation for it so this is the third topic which you have to cover in the uh, polar coordinate portion next one is find the radius of curvature of the curve so just try uh, three to four problems also from this portion that is y is equal to x cube into x minus a at the point a uh, a comma zero so this is the module first portion my dear friends only four topics you have to cover over there so that you can easily concur this module from this subject so but uh, the passing module which uh, from which you can easily score 20 marks my dear friends that is the module fifth okay it is a linear algebra over there so 20 marks are just in your pocket if you just try if you just practice for this particular module over here so uh, most important question is which is always asked in the vt examination that is find the rank of the matrix they will give you some matrix over there so i have taken it randomly the example that is 2 comma 2 4 3 6 2 8 6 4 5 2 3 1 uh, 10 to 1 8 so this is the interface of the question so they will ask you the find the rank of the matrix it's a very very easy question over there very simple question you can easily tackle over there only three to four steps is the answer for this particular question so this is the rank of the matrix okay next one is uh, solo equations by gauss jordan method okay it, this method is very simple also so x plus y plus z is equal to 9 i have taken here the set of equations so 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to 52 this is one example and another example is here you can see uh, it is a, a very simple concept you have to just make uh, this equation in the form of matrix then solve accordingly uh, just uh, uh, make elementary transformations over there so that uh, you can easily get the answers for these particular type of questions okay so next one is eigenvalue and eigenvector problems try three to four problems also from this portion so that you can easily concur 20 marks from this portion or you can go through the second part also so there is the concept like solve a system of equations by gauss seidel method okay so i have taken here example 10x plus y plus z is equal to 12 x plus 10 y plus z is equal to 12 x plus y plus 10 z is equal to 12 you have to apply gauss seidel method uh, for solving these type uh, these set of equations over there it is also a simple one <clears throat> next one is solve the following system of equations or uh, 
by Gauss elimination method. Same equations, uh, a set of equations are there x plus y plus z is equal to 9x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 8, 2x plus y minus z is equal to 3. You have to solve these system of equations with the Gauss elimination method. This is also a simple part, my dear friends, but I will just prefer you go for the first part as Gauss Jordan method is very simple one and rank of matrix is also simple. If you are convenient in the second part also, it is your choice. I cannot tell, it is not forcibly. I am telling you that uh, go for the first part, whichever is convenient convenient for you people so you go through that okay so uh, next is using modern mathematical tool uh, write a program code to find the largest eigenvalue like uh, i have taken matrix a is equal to 1131511 by uh, Rayleigh's power method you have to do this type of this sort of questions over there so this is whole about module 5 my dear friends linear algebra it is the passing module so focus on this module and try more more and more problems from this particular module okay then second module comes up <clears throat> okay second module it is series expansion and multivariable calculus as you already know only uh, one module difference is there the rest of the modules are same for the every branch okay so this is a most important question expand log of one plus sine x by maclaren series up to the term containing x raised power four if you are good in remembering the uh, what we call as trigonometric identities trigonometric formulas so you can easily remember them and what by applying uh, those formulas in this particular series that is maclaren series it becomes very simple to solve these type of questions sometimes they will ask log of sec x or their log of cos x whatever may be there but you, if you just try three or pro, four problems you will get the concept of mclaren series you have to just differentiate four times then you will get this particular term that is x raised to the power four okay then if uh, u is equal to log of 10x plus 10y plus 10z show that sine of 2x uh, do u by do x plus sine of 2y do u by do y plus sine of 2z uh, do u by do z is equal to 2 these are the just uh, what we call is you can say that it is a derivation part over there just three or four derivations are there you just focus on derivative part it is very simple to cover derivations as far as examination point of view is concerned as already a little bit days are now left for the examination and also for the backlog students uh, they lose interest uh, interest after getting backlogs so that it will be easy for them to cover some derivative parts over there rather than the problems okay next one is extreme values of functions that is i have taken here f of x comma y is equal to x square plus y square plus 6 x minus 12 so try try three to four problems for this portion also extreme values of function that is maxima and minima okay if you're not uh, if you are not uh, convenient with this type of problems so go through this particular mclaren series so don't lose it at least you will get seven marks from the model 2 i'm taking the worst case over here if you are not uh, uh, what we call as preparing for these type of questions over here at least practice this mclaren series okay then module third comes up that is ordinary differential equation of first order it's a very simple one my dear friends uh, don't worry about uh, this uh, particular module as uh, some simple concepts are there like exact and reducible uh, to exact differential equations so formula is uh, here 1 by n do m by do y minus do n by do x and 1 upon m do n by do x minus do m by do y you have to, uh, they will give you e equations like uh, i have taken here solo dy by dx plus y by x is equal to x square y square you, you have to uh, y is for 6 you have to put uh, these equations in the form of m and n and then accordingly you have to differentiate uh, this m with respect to y firstly and then n with respect to x then n with respect to x and uh, m with respect to y over here so okay to uh, so, then it will become easy for you to cover this type of problem that is uh, uh, what we call the exact and reducible to exact differential equations okay and second example i have taken here dy by dx plus y by x is equal to y square x so this type of interface will be there in the examination they will tell you solve these type of equations with the help of this uh, exact and reducible uh, to exact differential equations then uh, also find the orth orthogonal trajectories of the family suppose equations will be given r is for n sine of n theta is equal to a n r is equal to a of 1 plus cos of n theta where a is the parameter over there so try these for problems also two or three problems from this session from this portion that is the ordinary differential equation of the first order so it is all about the model third my dear friends then so it is the passing capsule for this particular uh, what we call a subject over here and next module is 4 module 4 
in module 4 there is integral calculus which is a little bit tough part as far as the backlog students is concerned so it becomes very tough for them to do integration problems over there at least from this module 4 you just go through this beta and gamma function one question will be definite over there that is a relationship between beta and gamma function it is always uh, asked in the examination as far as vt is concerned so as far as attain scheme is concerned also so there is a uh, always uh, they are asking this question that is beta and gamma uh, functions relationship between okay if you are convenient with the multiple integrals so i will prefer you just to go through the evaluation of only double integrals not triple integrals as it is a typical uh, part over there so uh, if there is a worst case i am taking uh, taking it over here so just write the given data for this uh, particular triple integrations at least you will get one mark one marks over there so uh, don't forget to write the given data over there so applications to find area and volume by double integrals if you are convenient then go through it otherwise just focus on this particular question that is a relationship between beta and gamma functions so this is whole about the what we call as mathematics first for the triple e department so hope uh, this video is uh, beneficial for you people so make sure you will uh, share it with your batchmates who are struggling with this subject thanks for watching my video